Good morning, students. In the previous class, we discussed about the water we use in the Tungabhadra River Basin. In this class, we are going to learn about the topic uh, rational and equitable use of water and example. I think about how the water is used in an equal manner that was uh, done in the state of uh, Maharashtra in the village Hiwari Bajar. Hiwari Bajar is the village that is located in Maharashtra state. In this topic, we are going to learn about how the water is used in the equal manner in the Hiwari Bajar village. Before going to learn about the rational and equitable use of water, let's know about the location of the Hiwari Bajar village. Learn Hiwari Bajar. It is a village located in Ahmad Nagar district. In a Maharashtra state. Listen, in Maharashtra state, Maharashtra government launched a new program for the all and development of the villages. The name of the program is Adarsh Gram Yojana Program. Shortly we call it as AGY. It is the program launching by the Maharashtra government for the all ground development of the villages. This program was launched by Maharashtra government in the village Hiwari Bajar, which is located in the Ahmad Nagar district, one of the district in the Maharashtra state. This village is located to the east side of the Sahadri Mountains. Listen carefully, let's see the location of the Sahyadri mountain just to take a path of the South India. You take just an this is the South India, you know that here Western Ghats mountains are there on the west side. This is the Western Ghat Mountains, you know that. Here, Sahyadri Mountains means the northern part of the Western Ghat's Mountains is called as the Sahyadri. Sahyadri is nothing but northern part of the Western Ghat's Mountains only. Here, to the east side of the Sahyadri Mountains, for example, this is the Sahyadri Mountains. To the east side of the Sahyadri Mountains, this uh, Ahmad Nagar district is located. On the Ahmad Nagar district, this Iwari Bajar is. Uh, Situated. Listen carefully. This Ahmadnagar district is located in the rain shadow region. I mean, it is a drought prone district. Drought prone district means very less amount of rainfall has taken place in this uh, Ahmadnagar district. That's why it is called as the drought prone district. Generally, this district receives the 400 millimeters of rainfall per year. That's why it is called as a very less amount of rainfall received district. On the Narva Nagar district, the Sahyadri Mountains are located. To the east side of the Sahyadri Mountains, the Siwari Bajar was, is located. Listen carefully. When Maharashtra government launched this uh, Adarsh Gram Yojana program in the Hiwari Bajar, under this program, Many works were implemented by the Maharashtra government. Let's say what type of works were implemented by the Maharashtra government in the Hiwari Bajar village. For example, you take the water and the soil conservation works were implemented on the common lands as well as in the private lands. As well as another program is Continuous concrete trenches were done. CCT, shortly we call it as CCT. Continuous contour trenches. These continuous contour trenches were dug on the hill slopes. Why? Because to arrest the soil erosion and to harvest the water. As well as many water harvesting structures. 
Water harvesting structure. Water harvesting structures means water storing projects. Like for example, many water harvesting structures were built in Adiwari Bazar. For example, you take the check dams were built, as well as percolation tanks were built. These all the water harvesting structures were built as, as well as the loose boulder structures are also was built under the program of Adash Gram Yojana program. Listen carefully. So many water and soil harvesting or conservation programs were implemented. Continuous contour trenches were dug on the hill slopes. Many water harvesting structures were built like the check tanks and the percolation tanks. In the interview we call it as Inkudu Kuntal. Percolation tanks means uh, Inkudu Kuntal as well as plantation also has taken place. This plantation has done on the forest lands as well as on road sites. These are the works done by the Maharashtra government in the Niwari Bajar under the program of Adarsh Gram Yojana. Listen carefully, when Maharashtra government decided to launch this Adarsh Gram Yojana program, Maharashtra government has set some preconditions to select the villages. Which village we have to select under this program? Government has set some preconditions. Let us see, government has put the mainly four conditions were put. They are called as the four bands. Shortly we call it as four bandis. Let us see whatever the preconditions set by the Maharashtra government. This is once again I am explaining. When the government has launched this other Gram Yojana program, Maharashtra government set some preconditions to select a village. Mainly four conditions are there. In, Mahara, in Marathi language we call it as bandis. In English we call it as bands. There are four bandis are there. Mainly that is first one Kurhan Bandi, second one Nas Bandi, the third one Nasha Bandi, and the fourth one is Charai Bandi. Here Bandi means in Marathi language, bandhi means bands, not to do. Let us see the four bandhis. Kurhat bandhi. Kurhat bandhi means ban on felling trees. It means we should not cut the trees at any cost. The Nas bandhi. Nas bandhi means family plan. Family planning means the couple should not give more births. Couple have to maintain the family system and they have one or two children. The Nasha Bandi, that is, ban on liquor. A ban on liquor means ban on using of alcohol. The last one is Charai Bandi. That is, Charai Bandi means ban on free grazing. It means we should not allow the animals to graze the grass freely, but we can cut the grass, we can carry the grass, and we can feed the animals. Listen, there are four bands were sent by the Maharashtra government to select a village under the Adarsh Gram Yojana program for its all round development. They are Kurhat Bandi, Kurhat Bandi means ban and felling trees, Nas Bandi, nothing but Every family should maintain the family planning. And Nasha Bandi, Nasha Bandi means ban on liquor, nothing but ban on consumption of liquor, nothing but alcohol. Charai Bandi, ban on free grazing. Free grazing means animals should not be allowed freely to graze the grass. But we can cut the grass, we can carry the grass, and we can feed the animals. In addition to these four main bands, another thing also there that is the Sramadan. 
Sramadhan means voluntary physical work. Everyone should do some works of their voluntarily. But this uh, Sramadhan is exempted for the landless people. Means the landless people no need to do the Sramadhan. So they are the main plans set out by the Maharashtra government to select the village under the Adarsh Gram Yojana program. Let us listen. These plans were set by the Maharashtra government by taking the conditions of the Maharashtra at the time of the 1980s. On that time, if you take uh, 1980s time, there is a shortage of food and also there is a shortage of firewood and also there is a shortage of uh, fodder in Maharashtra in the year 1980s and also there is a rapid uh, cutting of trees in 1980s in Maharashtra. And also a less amount of groundwater was available in 1980s in Maharashtra state. By considering the situation of Maharashtra in 1980s, we have to understand about these bans set by the Maharashtra government to choose a village under the Adash Gram Yojana program. Let us see, in addition to these all the bans, some more bans were added by the Maharashtra government later. For example, some other bans are nothing but ban of digging bore wells there is a ban of digging bore wells it means bore wells should not be dug for irrigation but we can dug the bore wells to drink to take a drinking water it means bore wells are allowed to dug only for drinking water but bore wells should not be allowed to dug for the irrigation and also there was a ban on the cultivation of water intensive crops. It means water intensive crops should not be cultivated. For example, you take a banana and a sugar cane. They are the water intensive crops. It means these crops consume the more water. So this cultivation of these crops was banned. And also there was a ban on bore wells. Bore wells also should not be done. But we can allow the bore wells only to take a water for drinking purpose. For the irrigation purpose, irrigation means for the cultivation of crops, we should not dug a bore wells. But we can take the water from a dug wells. Wells are of two types, dug well is there and bore well is there. Dug well means manually we take a water and use for the irrigation. But bore wells means we, we take a water by using the motor pumps. That bore wells were banned as well as ban of cultivation of water intensive crop as well as there was a ban on selling, selling land to the outsiders. For example, if the people of the village want to sell their land, they have to sell their land only to the people of the same village. They should not sell their land to the outside village. These all plans were added later. Actually, first plans of this were only later additions, all these things. Because of all these uh, works, which was implemented under the program of other Shram Yojana, the irrigated area, I think, water availability area, has increases from 7 to 72 hectares for the summer crops. The irrigated area for the summer crops has increased from 7, earlier it was only 7 hectares. But because of the implementation of all these things, the irrigated area has increases from 7 to 72 hectares. Even if it is a normal rainfall has taken place, they cultivated the crops of different types. For example, they cultivated the bajra in the kharif season. Kharif is one of the agricultural season and they cultivated the java in the rabi season and they also cultivated the vegetables in the summer season in the irrigated land. In the unirrigated land, Unirrigated land is the area where which is depending upon only rainfall. In the unirrigated land also, the production productivity has increases because soil capturing the more moisture. So these all things were happened because of this uh, all the programs that have taken place under the other Gram Yojana program. Let's listen carefully as well as well. when there is a good rainfall has taken place. When there is a good rainfall has taken place, they bring the more land under cultivation. Especially they, they plan for the second crop. For example, agricultural seasons are three.
Kharif season, Rabi season, as well as the summer season. Three seasons are there. If more rains has taken place, they bring the more land under cultivation. If the less rains has taken place, they bring the less land only under cultivation. It means they give the priority of crops based upon the availability of water. Because of this prioritization of using of water, even though there is a less amount of rains taking place for the many years, there is no shortage of water for the drinking in Hiwari Patra. Let's uh, listen. Let us see what happened because of this uh, water harvesting program means farmers can plan for the second crop. Earlier they used to cultivate only one crop. Because of the availability of water, they plan for the second crop. Because of the cultivation of second crop, some, some amount of agricultural laborers will get the employment in their local area. Otherwise, they use it to go to the other place as a migrants. So migration has stopped because of the availability of water for the second crop. These all things were done by the Maharashtra government and the program of this Adash Gram Yojana. And also to encourage the small and marginal farmers, Governments also started to give the loans through the banks because of the giving of loans through the banks for the small and marginal farmers. These small and marginal farmers concentrated on the livestock economy. Livestock economy nothing but the breeding of animals. Because of the increasing of loans, more number of animals were purchased by the small and marginal farmers. Especially earlier, only 140 liters of milk was produced by the Hiwari Bajar per day. But uh, this quantity increases 20 times. It means it reaches to the 3000 liters of milk was produced in Hiwari Bajar because of the increasing of milch animals. How milch animals increases is because of the giving of loans by the government to encourage the small and marginal farmers. Daily, the two also, Hiwari Bajar people, they maintain the rainfall data. Based upon the rainfall data, they prepare the water prioritization. If more water is there means, they cultivated the crops in a Kharif season as well as in the Rabi season. If less amount of rainfall has taken place means, they reduce the cultivated crop area in the Rabi season. Because of all these uh, programs, there is no water shortage has taken place in Hiwari Bajar even though there is a continuous drought conditions was prevailed in Hiwari Bajar. But even though this all the works was implemented under the program of Adash Gram Yojana in Hiwari Bajar, the groundwater table has decreases. Why the groundwater table has decreases means if we control the water, if we control the, if we put the conditions only in the Hiwari Bajar, if we, if we should not put the conditions in the surrounding villages, we can't uh, increase the water table. Why? Because the surrounding villages of Hiwari Bajar, they dug the bore wells and they pull the more water from the ground. Generally, water is a flowing resource. It flows from one area to the another area. Even though we put the conditions, even though we put the many restrictions in Hiwari Bajar, if we should not put the restrictions on the surrounding village, surrounding village people will pull the water of the Hiwari Bajar. That's why this Hiwari Bajar groundwater tables uh, has been decreasing day by day. That's why we have to put the conditions in, the, in a larger area, not only in the Hiwari Bajar. That's why to put the conditions in the larger area, we have to treat uh, water as a common pool resource. Here, common pool resource means water belonging to all the people. Water not belonging to any one particular people. Let us see how we learn about what has a common pool resource. Now I am going to learn the another topic that is water as a common pool resource. See, water as common pool resource. 
common pool resource means water is belonging to ground water can be taken from the surface only that's why owner was allowed to take a water as he wished this ground water law was made in the past when the water usage is very less the ground water law says that owner has the complete right to take a water as his wish it means owner only can take a water landless people does not have any right to take a water from the ground but this water law especially ground water law this ground water law was outdated why ground water law was outdated means nowadays ground water become the main source of water which is used for domestic purpose as well as for agricultural purpose at the present days it means all should use the water let us see what the ground water law says that up to now we discussed that ground water law says that only owner only has the right to take a water as his wish if we allow the same ground water law in the present days means the owners will take the more water as they wish then what happen if they take the water as they wish means water levels decreases under the ground it means in a in a future future generations people will face a severe problem of water shortage that's why we have to change the water law why we have to change the water law why we should not here allow the owner to take a water means owner has a owner has a right over the surface only land owner has a right on the surface only why because on the surface only we have the boundaries but under the ground there is no boundaries for example you take a air does not has any boundary it flow from a high pressure areas to the low pressure area like the same way under the ground on the surface only we have the boundary but under the ground there are no boundaries water from one land goes to the another land that's why there are no boundaries under the ground that's why for example you take two lands two separate land owners land owner a and land owner b two lands are located side by side if this the land owner of a the water under the ground of this land owner of a move to the land of the a b that's why there are no boundaries under the ground the water from one land goes under into the water from another land that's why if one one land owner pulls the more water means the bore wells of the another land also will dry up that's why water we have to consider as a common pool resource to treat water as a common pool resource we have to update the ground water law it means we have to delete the access to water and the land ownership but now also water law becomes a confusion by taking a, how water law can be confusion means by taking one example of the perumatti village this perumatti village is located in a kerala state in perumatti village coca cola company which prepares the cool drinks it establishes its base in perumatti village of kerala what is the company means cool drink company coca cola company it prepares the cool drinks which we are what we are consuming 20 minutes later